Bleep is pretty fabulous. This is the second segment of the 10th episode of the 8th season of Arthur. And it starts off with Arthur talking about bleeps on TV shows. And when somebody swears, there is a bleep. And I thought, where is this episode going? I, I don't know, you know, for the episode to talk about swearing, it seems quite a, a big topic to discuss. But the direction it took uh, was actually really entertaining. DW is in a in a shop with her grandmother one day and this child, this older child, happens to swear. And of course, throughout the episode, there are no swear words. It's just a bleep. You can use your imagination for what word or what words they are. Um, and, and she knows that this is a bad word because the boy's mother, uh, I believe it was, dropped something and smashed something in this shop. And DW thought, well, that must be a terrible word. And she thinks about asking her grandmother what the word means, but she worries that her grandmother will then drop the shopping that she's holding on to. So she doesn't. She lets it fester. <laughs> she goes home and asks Arthur what it means. And the look on Arthur's face was just fabulous. And it's all about her trying to find the confidence to ask other people what this word means, because Arthur doesn't tell her. And she ends up getting other people into a bit of trouble getting into a bit of a sticky situation. I think it's a very, very relatable episode for young children. Now, I think when you're the target audience for Arthur, you know, about seven, eight, nine years old, I'm 31, it doesn't matter. Um, but when you're, you know, the target audience, I think by that age you have a general understanding of what swear words are uh, and the fact that they're bad words. But when you're much younger uh, and you don't necessarily know what they mean, and you don't really understand why they're bad words. It can be very confusing. I, I, I say this like I remember feeling that way. But I, I imagine. Um, I think it's understandable for children to say swear words and not realise why they're wrong. Apparently, I never used to say fish correctly. I used to get the F and the SH the wrong way around. But I used to pronounce the F as T. So I would say S-H-I-T instead of fish. Um, and of course, as a young child, that meant nothing. It didn't mean anything to me. And uh, DW has to learn really important lessons in this one. Um, I thought it was very effectively done. I really enjoyed it. The amount of beeps got a little bit irritating at one point, but not so much that it detracted from my enjoyment um, of the episode. Um, I try and, I'm trying to make up my mind what swear word was being said, and I think it's the F word. That's what's, what works. Uh, quite well in my head. Also, um, Arthur's mother, D.W. and Arthur's mother, gave a fantastic explanation. She eventually explains to D.W. what a swear word is. And she she said something along the lines of, it means I intentionally want to hurt your feelings. When you swear at somebody, it means I want to hurt your feelings. And I thought that that was wonderful. That's just a such a succinct way of and, and polite way of explaining what a swear word is. And I think that that's pretty fabulous because I did think throughout this, how do you explain what a swear word is? And DW kept asking, why is it bad? Why is it offensive? Well, I don't think she used the word offensive, but I thought that it's a good point. It's a word. You know, words themselves don't mean anything unless you have context. And I think their mother summed it up pretty fabulously. Really enjoyed it. I had no idea what they were going to do with bleep at the beginning. But I'm really, pleased, uh, I'm really pleased with the execution of the narrative. And honestly, I had quite a lot of fun with it.